Give me an end of the world scenario leading to the last man on earth, a symbol of his oppressor and a thought experiment on what it would take to break down the barriers of race, class, and sex. Today, we are exploring the first Afrofuturistic story ever published. Are you ready? The Books and Vogue Podcast. Come get your favorite next book. The Books and Vogue Podcast. With Catching the Welcome, book lovers, to the Books on Vogue podcast. This is your premier listening experience all about immersive reading and helping avid and reluctant readers alike imagine book characters like never before. I'm your host, Kat Trinidad. The format of the show is I introduce a book, share tips on how you can engage your senses as you read this title, because it's one thing to be a mood reader, but you get a little something extra from the story when you are a set the mood reader. And finally, I will end the show with a reimagining of my favorite scene. Today, we will discuss techniques for getting into the comet by W.E.B. Du Bois. And today is a very special episode because we are hosting our very first giveaway. We have collaborated with Inspire the Tribe to create a bookmark and celebration of this podcast launch. Inspire the Tribe is an online store with products ranging from bookmarks to stickers and canvas art, all centered around Black, Indigenous, and people of color representation. Ten lucky winners will have an opportunity to win a limited edition W.E.B. Du Bois bookmark. In her iconic flair, the designer behind Inspired a Tribe depicted the civil rights icon W.E.B. Du Bois with a bookish spin on his famous quote. It reads, either this book will destroy ignorance or ignorance will destroy this book. This bookmark is the perfect reading companion to the comment or whatever book you find yourself reading please stay tuned at the end of the show we will share instructions on how to enter to win today we are joined by a special guest who is a poet painter fellow reader and my baby brother jock hunter welcome jock hey thanks for having me hey book lovers if you didn't know my brother and I often read together for a sibling bonding. And the comment was our recent pick. So, Jock, please tell us about the book. So, the comment, all right, it's a sci fi story about a black man who's the sole survivor on earth after a comet hits. He is tasked with finding survivors or anyone that exists. And when he discovers someone else, there's turmoil between them, and he has to deal with that if he wants a better tomorrow. Thank you so much for that, Jock. Do you care to join me in a discussion of some tips for setting the reading mood? Absolutely. Okay, book lovers, I hope you have your writing utensils ready because class is in session. Hear it, see it, smell it, sense it, taste it, touch it. Hear it, see it, smell it, sense it, taste it, touch it. Hear it, see it, smell it, sense it, taste it, touch it. The Books and Old Podcast. So, Ja, what's the vibe? So, the vibe in this book is an emotional chess grab. It... It, it leaves you with the willingness and the courage to say something when, unfortunately, at that point in time, you don't have a voice in the story. So it, it left me very emotional. What, 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 did, what did you gauge as the vibe? I, I agree. I think that for me, it was an emotional roller coaster. So readers, when you pick this up, get ready to 
to to have the highs, the lows, but just know that even with the highs, it always comes back down again. So those were definitely the vibes for me. Major um, roller coasters. <laughs> yeah. So so Jock, what do you think is the sound of the comic? How can we engage our ears as we read this book? So for the most part, you're you're gonna you're gonna be engaged. But I would say if you're looking for uh, an, an ominous backdrop um, that, that kind of that kind of brings you more into the story, there is a song by the Jimmy Caster Bunch called It's Just Begun. And I believe it sets you on the right path to journey through this short story. Did you did you did you find yourself gravitating towards a particular sound in this book? No, actually. I need a complete silence, like the creepy, eerie silence, like so mm -hmm. silent that you're wondering, where is everyone? That kind of silence. Um, so, yes, I, I would highly recommend reading it in silence and see if that doesn't add to the feel of this book. <laughs> <laughs> so, so very different from you, very different from you. So, uh, could you please share the aesthetics with us? Ooh, the aesthetics. I couldn't really gauge an aesthetic for you. Um, I think visually I could paint it. I can set it up as, as sort of a spread of food items that aren't desirable to eat. <laughs> but... That's probably the only aesthetic I could give you. Um, did did you did you visualize something in that? For me, I felt like the aesthetic was, or something that could add to the aesthetics of reading this book would be bright lighting. I needed to be bright um, because that's a stark contrast to right the idea of a comet. Or maybe, or maybe not. Maybe that mm. adds to it. Wouldn't it be bright? Would, would you think it would be bright? Or would you think it'd block out the sun? I, I <laughs> think it would block out the sun. I, it but just... <laughs> but I, I felt like with reading it, right, in a sunny mm. room, um, it just made me feel like, like if a cloud passed over at any moment now, that would creep me out, like, <laughs> because of the book <laughs> that I was reading. Okay, okay. Yeah. So yeah, a very bright room so that any kind of shadow that passes over would definitely give you those heart palpitations. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't that, I didn't think I needed any more of those, but I I I I do get the appeal. All right. So those <laughs> were the aesthetics for me. So what do you think is the flavor? I mean, uh, two for four at this point. I couldn't really I couldn't really give you a flavor. And I don't know, I don't know if that was the intention of the author to not engage my taste buds at all, but I couldn't, I couldn't taste anything. You know, did you, did you taste something in it or did you want to taste anything in it? <laughs> I can, I can see that. Um, yeah, no, <laughs> I didn't. It, it, as a matter of fact, I, I found myself very parched. As I read the book and I leaned into it by denying myself water until I got to certain parts of the story. And then I like gorge water, take a bite of a beef jerky and then no more until I finished the book. I, I very much feel like this is one of those books that um, denying yourself, right, uh, mm -hmm. with with food with, is best. It's best to really get into the feel of the book. Wow. Yeah. Um, that's kind of tough. <laughs> <laughs> so, so what do you think is the aroma? <sighs> so the aroma is a tricky one. Um, and I'm going to, I'm going to describe it as best I can, but just bear with me. So I, I I'd imagine it's like rotten butternut squash and like, a concoction of imbalanced hormones. And yeah, there's just, it's, there is like 
elements of ominous elements that I don't really want to smell. And it's, there's sort of like an eeriness or a smell of a stench of bad energy that, that just makes me want to cover my nose at various points. Um, so <laughs> I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend trying to breathe in this book. Uh, but maybe you have a different perspective. Did, did some smells permeate to you or? <laughs> your 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 list of smells are very specific <laughs> very specific i would say that for me the aroma was was incense and i found myself burning stuff like frankincense and just something that would uh any any type of incense really but stuff that would give me uh, a earthy smell and something that would give a little bit of uh, smokiness in the room. So how can we get more of the feels? Kind of center yourself within yourself. And I don't know if that, for you, that means going to a park, and, you know, just taking in what's around you, um, you know, getting your water and, and you know, just doing everyday, everyday things for you. But the feels for me, like, like we said, was a roller coaster. And so I, I, I think if you want to get more of the feels, it's also about uh, setting the balance, at least for me in reading this book. Very emotional. How how did you get into the book more? For me, uh, getting more of the feels entailed getting uncomfortable, right? So if, if I typically like to read snuggled up in a blanket, I read without the blanket. I read with a draft in the room with the air conditioner on full blast and just feeling a little bit chilly, a little bit uncomfortable, right? Because it it was a way to get my outside feeling what the book was doing to me psychologically, right? Okay. The discomfort. Well, there you go, book lovers. These are your recommended supplies as you read this title. If you're able, pause and get some of these, if available, or simply imagine, because it's time for my favorite scene. Disclaimer, please note that exact words, names, locations, and or scenarios mentioned in this reimagined reenactment may differ from the actual book. Sharing my favorite scenes, I reenacted those. Imagining the fiction world that I've been reading of. Oh. Going from all the things, I just gave you a list. Come experience all the senses as protagonists. Oh. And it don't get more real than this. Immersive mm. reboot books on both and live vicariously. Before the comic. Starring Jock Hunter as Jim and worker number two. And Kat Trinidad as worker number one. President and clerk. Nothing. I am nothing. The comet. The comet? Well, Jim, are you scared? No. I thought we journeyed through the comet tale once. Oh, that was Haley's. This is a new comet. Quite a stranger, they say. Wonderful, wonderful. I saw it last night. Oh, by the way, Jim, I want you to go down into the lower vaults today. Of course they want me to go down to the lower vaults. It's too dangerous for more valuable men. Everything of value has been moved out since the watcher began to see Ben. But we missed two volumes of old records. Suppose you nose around down there. It isn't very pleasant, I suppose. Not very. Well, Jim, the tale of the new comet hits us at noon this time. Here's the keys. It's so dark. Freaking cobwebs too. Where is it? It is that gold? Book lovers, if you have enjoyed this sneak peek, you can get more by reading the whole book. The comment is available at your library. 
and everywhere books are sold. And if it's not, request it because you deserve to read all the books that interest you. And if you have already read the comment or are in the middle of reading it, let me know in the comments what you like to do to set the reading mood. Please leave your feedback. I would love to hear from you. Now, if you are interested in winning one of the 10 limited edition W.E.B. Du Bois bookmarks designed by Inspire the Tribe, please leave a rating on whatever platform you are streaming this episode. After you have left a rating with comment, please screenshot it and email booksonvogue at gmail.com. That's B-O-O-K-S-E-N. V-O-G-U-E at gmail.com with the subject line bookmark giveaway. This giveaway ends on 12 September at midnight Pacific Standard Time. Winners will be emailed within 24 hours of the contest end. If you are interested in what those bookmarks look like, please visit either my website, www.booksonvogue.com and click on the link for today's podcast transcript or visit my Instagram page at Books and Vogue and a picture will be there for you to take a look. So, Jock, is there anything else you would like to share with the listeners? Yes. First and foremost, thank you for giving way for this platform to exist. I, it was fun to compel myself to engage elements into my reading. And yeah, I'm always creating and getting involved in the community or just supporting the message of other timely creatives. I have my very first single coming soon to various music platforms, and I would hope listeners can stay tuned to absorb my work and others like me. Thank you again, Jock, for joining us today. And thank you, book lovers, for listening with peace, love and joy. Happy reading. The Books and Vogue Podcast Come get your favorite next book here The Books and Vogue Podcast With Catch and Grab Subscribe, listen, check out recommendations, and happy reading.